Hello Internet, you can call me Alec, and welcome to Character Discussion. Today we're going to be talking about the Princess of Flowers, Princess Daisy. She first appears in Mario Land, where she was kidnapped by a scary alien dude. I'm not going to bother pronouncing his name. Here's his name. Uh... After being rescued by Mario, she's never seen again until Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64. After that, she became a staple in most Mario spin-offs. If there's a spin-off, you can almost guarantee Daisy's in it. Her first Mario Kart appearance was in Mario Kart Double Dash, where she became a staple of the Mario Kart. And she actually has three of her own courses. She has the Daisy Cruiser, which is this really big ship. She has Daisy Circuit, which is in some sort of city. And she has Daisy Hills, which I don't really know how to explain, but I can say it has a couple ghosts in it, and it's fucking adorable. <laughs> <clears throat> she also appears in Mario Strikers Charged, and I personally love her design in Mario Strikers Charged. She's pretty cute in that. And then, after that, she does not appear in any main series game, but she's also in Super Smash Brothers. Uh, she has a trophy in all of the Smash games up until four and she has and up until four she had an alternate costume a peach had an alternate costume that's meant to be Daisy but when ultimate came out she finally became an actual character and it was huge Unfortunately, she's just an echo of Peach, meaning she has the same moveset as Peach. Which, in reality, Daisy wouldn't have the same moveset as Peach. Because, yes, they're both princesses, but they are not alike. Peach is a proper lady. All fancy and prissy and kind of useless. And Daisy is a tomboy. And obsessed with sports and stuff. So, it really shouldn't be Echo Fighters. But, Nintendo knows what's best, apparently. <laughs> Daisy also appears in the Super Mario Brothers movie. Still shit. Where she replaces Peach as the main princess. Which obviously means Luigi is the main love interest. And Mario is just there for the ride. Pretty much. Mm. <laughs> and... Yeah, I mean, she doesn't have her own game. She probably never have her own game. She doesn't appear in any of the cartoons because they came out after her. I mean before her. She didn't she isn't in and they don't haven't had a cartoon since. She isn't in any comics that I'm aware of. Yes, there is Mario comics, but they were in the Nintendo Power magazines. Uh, 
Mario doesn't have a manga, so Daisy won't appear in that. <laughs> there is several mods for different games that allows you to play as Daisy, such as a mod for Mario 64 where you get to play as Daisy. And a mod where you play as Daisy in other games she shouldn't be in. And she also appears in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. She's been in the series since the beginning. She is a main staple of the series. Where she is a speed type. Which makes sense. <clears throat> I didn't mention this series before, maybe once or twice, but I will start trying to mention it more. If you're curious, Bowser is a power type, Mario and Luigi are both all around types. Rosalina's not in the game, I imagine she would be skill. And Peach is skill as well. Anyway. <clears throat> Daisy is shown to have some sort of flower based powers. Because a lot of her special moves evolve around her summoning flowers. And I don't really know how or why that is. But yes, her special ability is something to do with flowers. Which, considering her name is Daisy, that makes sense. She is loved by the fans and the fans really want a Daisy game or Daisy just to appear in more stuff and I can get with that she's not my favorite princess that's Rosalina but she is my number two princess y yes that means Peach is my least favorite character if you can't tell by me always ragging on her but I still love her <clears throat> There's also Baby Daisy, but she only appears in the Mario spin-offs, like Mario Kart, and a couple of the sports games. She isn't in any of the main series games. So Baby Daisy is not canon, while Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby Peach, Baby Wario, and Baby Donkey Kong, and Baby Bowser are all canon because they all appear in a Mario Land, or, well, Yoshi Land, Island game. And that is the history of the baby characters. <laughs> and Daisy, although she's loved. Nintendo doesn't really see her as a main character kind of possibility. She will forever be a side character. And that's that's really bad. Daisy deserves some sh some chance to shine. Oh. If Princess Peach can get her own game, Daisy can get her own game along with Rosalina. Oh, and Waluigi deserves a game, too. <laughs> Daisy's main love interest is Luigi, which I did mention in the Luigi video. It's not official, but most people agree that they are a couple. And I love that. Luigi is my favorite Mario brother. Daisy's my second favorite princess. Why not put them together and you get awesomeness? Plus, you know, Luigi's the shy, quiet, spooky, 
scaredy cat is what I meant. And Daisy is the strong tomboy that's loud and annoying but adorable. <laughs> and that's why I think their relationship kind of works, you know? They're the opposites. And you know what they say about opposites. They attract. And as much as I would love to go on, I think I'm just going to end the video here. So, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below with a suggestion of who I should cover next. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!